Say you're doing a number of networking events and you basically want to send the same information to everyone that you have met, whether it was in an in-person meeting that you did yesterday or you just did a virtual thing and you want to start sending emails out. Or maybe you want to introduce yourself to some partners in your community and you want to send the same email, but you want it to be personalized a tiny bit to them, like their name, but it's basically the same email. You could set up automations, but that's going to make things really clunky and, and really kind of difficult. But one of the things you can do in this system is create a template so that when you are sending an email or even a text message, you can have a template set up so that it's really easy to, once you add this person into your bot, into your, your contact list, then you can send them that same message and it has their name on it. So we are looking at one of the many email addresses that I have of myself in the system to do tests and things like that. So if we look at one of my records, then you can see I can send myself a text message or I can send myself an email. And down here, if you see you've got, you can add attach, you can add attachments, you can insert an emoji, you can insert a template, you can even ask for a payment or a couple of other things in this area. But we're going to look at this template area and I'm actually going to change this to email because I use the templates more often in emails. And if you notice this actually updated, there's a lot more things happening in here. So again, if I look for that insert template, we get this new pop-up that comes up and it gives me the option of looking at the different templates. So I have these templates available. These are the ones that I have created that are things that I would send on a regular basis or maybe even a monthly basis. And it makes my life a lot easier. It's the same information all the time or maybe some sort of an invitation. And this, inf this will, um, automatically get created for the person and I can hit send. I can even make updates and it all goes out. So I have a, um, a, a new speaker presentation and I'm trying to find groups for, um, to, for me to give these presentations to. So I created an email to introduce myself and this particular topic. So I'm going to use this email, this template, this request to be a speaker and I'm going to click use template. Now, for some reason, the spacing always ends up being a little weird. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. It's not that big of a deal. And it just reminds us to kind of look at some other things on here. So you'll notice right here, this is actually the personalization. So this person is in my list. So when this email goes out, it will actually look for the contact first name, which is me. It will pull that information when this email is actually sent out. So this is one of those custom values or custom fields basically, and it will make sure to pull that information right there. So we're gonna kind of clean up this email. Not sure why it does this weird spacing. It could be because I pulled it over from some, I copied it from something else. Um, and so it did some weird things that way. Um, so don't worry about these things. It's, they, they happen. We're just going to kind of clean them up a little bit. No big deal. Um, it's always so much fun. So let me pause this. Okay, so now that I have this email all cleaned up, basically you're seeing that I have a nice pretty email. It's going to be, go out to this particular person and it'll make it really easy. It even has the, the subject line. Um, I didn't have to retype anything. I will fix the, the, um, the spacing here in just one second. And so everything is the way that it needs to be other than cleaning up the spacing. It was really simple and now I can hit send and it will automatically go out to, to this email address. So I am gonna go ahead and hit send because this is mine no big deal. And so if I go ahead and collapse this email information, if I reopen this, you'll actually see it looks pretty and it even says, hi, Tanya. So it has that um, field in there the way that it was supposed to. So how do you create these? So we're going to go over here on the left-hand side and we're going to go to marketing because that's where email templates sit. You would think that you would go here, but these emails are actually for the HTML based emails. So the pretty ones like you would get from Constant Contact and MailChimp and things like that. So we're not going here. We're actually going to go here to these templates snippets. So this is the list of the, the templates that I currently have in place that I've already created. Some of them are for text messaging and most of mine are for emails. You can add a new template by clicking on this green button 
and you can add a text. So that would be the SMS send from your phone text message, or you can add the email template, which is what we were just working with. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and update the one we were just looking at. So it'll look just the same. It just already has some data in it. So I'm going to scroll down to the one that we were just working with, this request to be a speaker, and I'm going to hit this edit button, so this pencil button. So not entirely sure why it looks like this and it looked like the other in the other screen, but I'm going to take all of this information, I'm going to highlight all, and I'm going to delete it and then I'm just gonna repaste it. And hopefully that fixes my little issue that I had on the previous screen. But what we're looking at in here is this is actually your title. Okay, so if I take that out, this is actually the name or the title of the, um, in, of the email. So it's something for you to look at when you're looking at that list of emails so that you know where, what this, message is about. So this makes it easy for you, the client or the, the person receiving the email will not see this title. It's for you to find it in the list. Secondly, this is the email subject. This is what they will receive. This is their title, their subject line. Then you write the email as you normally would. You can very easily go into something like a, a chat GPT, a Gemini, a whatever AI writing tool that you would like to use, kind of get some help and some ideas on how to write these. And then you can write out all of the information. You can have your links in your, um, uh, in, in your signature. You can do all of these things in here. You can also add photos if you wanted to add your logo here to the bottom so that people can see it. You can have that in here as well. Additionally, if it's something that you are sending a file all the time, you can attach a file to this and then you can have that as a template. So say you are, maybe you are applying for jobs or you're um, responding to um, people looking for speakers or something like that. And you have a file, either like a resume or a speaker highlight sheet or something like that, that you'd like to send to people. You can attach that file here as well. Finally, you want to make sure to save it before you do anything else. So we're going to go ahead and save. Then you can actually test this in two different ways. We can go back into this and we can test it here from this send test area, or we can do the same thing like we did before, do it from a contact within our CRM, within our contact area, probably send it to ourselves in one of our email addresses, and then you can see how those emails come across. And so that kind of tests it out in that way as well. So I would absolutely say send things out as a, as a if you have these emails that are going out on a regular basis, information that you just kind of want to introduce yourself. If you have a client that is that um, maybe you have the same type of email going out to clients on a regular basis that you want to manually take care of this, this works really well to do that type of information. So if you need any other information from me, please let me know. Thanks.